What is your job, and how much do you get paid? As someone who was just happy he makes $15 an hour, entering this thread was a mistake. Entrepreneur, negative 10k per year. I work in a steel mill, that heats steel bars to a certain hardness. I get paid $18 an hour, and so far we haven't had anyone die for a year, that's a record. Work for a family of iron foundries, we had our first death in my 11 years here 2 years ago, and it was awful. The death itself was not particularly gruesome, but the crap around it was. It was not our employee it was a temp, he was doing something he shouldn't, and was pinned by a casting and had a heart attack. Before he could be released, we notified the temp agency who refused to either contact his family or allow us to do the same. We didn't have that information made available to us. They didn't find out until the next day. They are of course our ex-temp agency. The family was rightly super pissed. This just adds to my hatred of temp agencies. I do research with brain cells, HIV, coke, and fentanyl. $29,500 a year racker $14 slash HR. Yes I'm sad that this is what a master's degree got me. You got host, you don't need a master's degree due to drugs. Nuclear plant electrician 50 an hour, 130, 150k a year depending on not slash bonus. Moving into an operations role in the plant soon. Homer. Inspect nuclear reactors under contract. Dollar sign 100k slashy, but only work 10 weeks a year. I'm a line cook manager for a busy restaurant, and I get paid $19 an hour plus TIP share plus profit share from two recipes of mine on the menu. That's so awesome you get a chunk of dollar sign for your very own menu recipes. I feel like that should be a standard especially nowadays with restaurants struggling to not have a revolving door staff. Congrats to you. Glad you got a job that sounds high stress, but you manage well and have a respectful boss on top it. Wendy's crew member, $9 normal hours, $10 when I close, if I become an ambassador I could make $12 an hour but that's a lot of work, I work the grill, usually and they say I'm the best at it not including the managers, and one of the ambassadors, 450 truck driver doing roll of dumpsters for $20 slash HR. I do whatever needs to be done around the warehouse that doesn't require a forklift, $19 hour. Any reason you don't have a forklift license, if there is no medical reason, seems like a good way to boost your pay rate once experienced. I'm actually in the same position, I'm a still operator, but I do a lot around the plant. As long as it doesn't involve forklift, I can get forklift certified anytime I want, but it seems like every time someone gets fired here, it involves a forklift. No thanks. Officer on a container ship work about 6 months out of the year, and make about 120k. For the most part my job is looking out a window at some waves. Do you enjoy what you do? If I could go back I think this is what I'd want. But I would imagine work life balance is awful slash having a family if applicable. I do enjoy it. Just being on the water is relaxing. It's better as a young single guy not really having any expenses, and then being off with no commitments for a few months at a time. I don't plan on doing it forever as a having a family would be difficult. Just doing it for enough years to experience things and set myself up early with no debts and maybe a house. Private jet captain, varies with overtime, but this year will be around dollar sign 360k. Well damn, hell yeah. Electrical substation design engineer. $126,000 a year. I'm surprised to find my job this far up in the thread. Unfortunately I'm at $75k. Working on getting my pedo which should put me at just over $100k. Master of the Custodial Arts. $17.50 slash H. Some men just want to watch the world sparkle. Always undervalued. Thanks for being there. When I first started dating my wife, she was a housekeeper at a hotel maid. After two years of dating her I knew she was the one. So after she called me crying on one of her breaks I just told her to quit. I'll take care of you. She had been a housekeeper for 10 years. Working 5 to 6 days a week for peanuts. Last year we started a dog grooming business. And she's never been happier. Did anyone else have their school custodian be like a cool guy that the kids all loved? I remember in elementary school that the guy 
that did it was a mini fundamental part of the school and its community. I think he taught us how to respect people, even if they were just cleaning puke with sawdust and changing garbages. Thanks Mike, you were a real one. The custodian at my kid's elementary school is a legit hero. The kids love him more than any teacher or the principal. Mr. Gary seems to know every kid. I met him at a kid's birthday party. His son goes to school with my oldest, and he was chatting it up with the parents, telling each of us what he liked best about our kids. No formal good at reading. Great listening parent slash teacher review. But the real your son helped a kid who dropped their tray last week or your daughter is always so kind on the playground. Vet tech. $15 slash HR in Utah. Getting a raise later this month though. Medical coder make $31 slash HR. About 65k annually. Is that the same as medical coding and billing? With the ICD-10 codes and all that. Not op but also medical coder. Yes that's what it is. Often you can be one or the other or both. I just do medical coding. So I don't interact with any patients. New York City roll off dumpster driver under a teams to union contract. $40 an hour in January plus medical and pension paid 100% by my employer. There's guaranteed overtime too. So gross around dollar sign 130k plus the other perks. We also get a 100k severance payout the day we retire. I have a bachelor's in business but fell in love with being outside all day. I also sell scrap metal if I can collect it and I have a thriving eBay business from other things I find in the dumpsters. Made another 20, 25k doing that on the side. I'm obsessed with dumpster diving. What's the nicest merch you found? I've been selling high end electronics like crazy. Found a 1600 watt power supply I flipped for $1300. Currently selling a batch of Bluetooth chip readers that I've made dollar sign 7k so far, and I'm negotiating the rest for dollar sign 6k right now. I also have a poster signed by deceased pop artist Royal Lichtenstein that I have hanging on my wall. I had it authenticated and reframed. It's worth about dollar sign 5k, but I'm not selling it. I work at a recycling plant. I get $35 an hour to stand at a conveyor belt picking out glass. I have seen videos of people doing that. It's not as easy as you made it sound lol. You are humble. Those belts look like they are going super effing fast and a lot of people do not know how to recycle properly. It also seems like one of those jobs that is literally 8 hours of work. Meanwhile I work like 3 to 5 real hours of work per day. Paraprofessional at an elementary school in a classroom with students who have autism, I get paid $19.70 an hour plus a $70 monthly stipend for helping the kids with toilet duties. As the father of an autistic son you should be getting paid way fine more for this. Thank you for helping children like mine. I work at a kind of care home for autistic children whose parents can't take care of them. Most people here are young social work students or people with no experience in the field. The kids are well looked after, but I believe having professionals and people with proper experience would allow them to do so much more. Why aren't there many professionals with experience here? Because I earn 9 pounds and 70 pence slash HR. It's great pay for me because it's my first job and I live alone in a cheap town. But how can you expect people with lots of experience to work for that much? And it's not just my company. I've looked around and salaries range from minimum wage to 11 pounds slash HR with the average being pounds 9 dash 10 slash hours. It's not the company's fault. Most of them are either charities or state funded. They are not being intentionally cheap. They just don't get enough money. I want salaries in this field to go up at this pair level. Professionals and experienced people are all priced out. It's a great, fulfilling job. But I know I can't work for this pay forever. And if I had a degree, I wouldn't even consider working here. It's maddening. I work at a small tech company doing any random thing they want. I make 90k. Any technical expertise, Google. I make sliding wardrobe doors. Measure and cut all aluminium and wood paneling and assemble. Some are mirrored. $26 per hour NZD. Air ambulance pilot. Helicopter. Dollar sign 80k a year. Dude, you're being underpaid. We know. I fly initial attack wildfire cruise slash water bucket. And fly in the Arctic during the winter for the same amount of money. Jobs cool and fun at least. Teacher in Zimbabwe 150 US dollars per month. Interesting. 
very different to most people here. How do you find it? I'm a bum, and get $120 a week donating plasma. But plot twist I have an interview at the plasma place tomorrow. Best comment here. Good luck homie. Air traffic controller. Around dollar sign 100k. I've heard that's a super stressful job. Any truth to that? Day to day. It is surprisingly routine. The real stress comes from internal politics. Some external too. Frequently changing rules that make zero sense. And shift work. It can also get stressful during bad weather and emergencies. Strip club DJ. Gross around dollar sign 65k doing 3 nights a week. I'm an English teacher in charity organization. $6 slash H. Ups package sorter at a warehouse. $22 an hour plus time and a half pay for anything over 5 hour shift in a single day. So for example one shift is 5 hours. If I work 2 shifts in a row the second one would be $33 an hour. And limited overtime too so. If I really really wanted to I could triple shift every day for an entire week. That would be like 15 hours straight every day working though and get a month's worth of money in a single check. I'm quite small, 120 pounds 5 feet 1 female, but I was looking into this job. Do you think it's something I'd be able to do? I know that's very subjective, but I guess what I mean, is what's the heaviest you typically have to lift slash move? Yes, they probably wouldn't have you lifting irregular packages, above 50 pounds. However, the job described above are pretty desirable and people are waiting for this guy to retire to take it. Most people in a Raps Hub are part time. It still comes with good benefits though. <laughs> Professor. STEM. Dollar sign 85. Dash 105k per year depending on grants I bring in. You wouldn't happen to be the Professor Eggplant underscore Wizard 12 that I have heard so much about. His dissertation on Moussaka was riveting. Restaurant manager for a well-known barista and dollar sign 75k base salary and 20 dollars to 25 dollar k in annual bonuses. You mean like hooters? I have no idea what you mean by barista. If it's not that the mayo, I'm ashamed to say my first thought was backquote breakfast restaurant lol. I suppose that's a cafe. Twin Peaks, Tilted Guilt, Wing House, etc. There are quite a few now. Custodian $24 slash HR government union job with benefits and pension obligatorio wow this blew up thanks guys. I'm a lab analyst for a microbiology lab, doing sample testing and environmental monitoring in a germ-free environment where hospital drugs are made. I make $18 an hour, not bad, but the stress of the job combined with the fact that it's on the low end of the wage of these sort of jobs means I'm looking for other options. Jeez this thread makes me feel like I failed in life. Project manager in the wireless telecommunications industry and I make dollar sign 95k a year. I live in the northern California area. I also am a part time horse photographer because I love it and I make an additional dollar sign 20 dash 25k at that. Underwater welder 296k annually. I'm here scouting for jobs with good pay. Me too. Not having super reassurance. Freelance video editor. $500 to $600 a day. Bad year I make 40. 50k per year. Great year are 95k 110k. Actuary. About 110k base before bonus. EMT 15 slash hours. The real tragedy of our times. Jobs like this are so undervalued. Save a dude's life in the back of the ambulance. $15 slash HR. Own the ambulance. $1,500 per trip. That's so fine pathetic. You should be making far more for a job like that. I was making $11.30 an hour as an EMT. And that was mid-range in my area. M's pay is an actual effing meme. IDK how they even have EMTs in US ATBH the pay is criminal. I know a couple, or rather some EMT and paramedics. The reality is, because a lot of them care about people, they want to help, and have that compassion and it ends up in them getting taken advantage of. The older ones turn bitter, the smarter slash richer ones may eventually go to med school as their bodies degrade, and others just hope for change, because it is the right thing, to do which eventually turns them into leaving for other jobs, because it don't. It is disgusting how poorly we pay them. How little benefits we give them, and how less respected they are for not being doctors, when they deal with so much risk and bodily harm from 12 hour plus shifts. 
manhandling patients who are unable to move or refuse to, and often selling and wrestling of branches causing shifts in schedules slash team slash resources. I work around a lot of EMT and paramedics. They pay you guys like dogs and it always baffles me. College student. Get paid dollar sign minus 20k. I'm a university student and I have a part time job as a lifeguard. I get paid $23 an hour which is pretty good. All of you have such great jobs and pay. I'm from a third world country and my pay is $200 a month. I do odds and ends job for extra to push to my income to around $300 to $400 per month. Finance. Basically Excel for a living. 95k dollar sign per year taxes and health insurance already deducted. Here, this'll surprise some folks. I'm a librarian, hence the username. And I earn right around $100,000 with full benefits. But I'm in the Bay Area, and that's with a master's degree plus 15 years of experience. So it's not all that impressive in context. I'm a paraprofessional in an elementary school. I spend most of my time in a self-contained kindergarten 5th grade classroom of mostly non-verbal students with autism. Occasionally I float to other classrooms. I make around 20k a year. I love my job, but the pay is insulting. You can mow lawns and make more than that. I made 45k when I worked as a bank teller. It's just sad to see how poorly teachers are paid. Warmut Stoker, $15 hour, about dollar sign 20k a year. I like how Reddit is the place, where 100k slash year and 4 dollar slash hour people meet, I think. Outside the Chinese restaurant, this is the only place these two groups meet. It's always nice to see the higher paid users appreciate the work of, and offer advice to the lower paid users in the same fields. Especially when that advice is you're underpaid. Do this to fix it. Solidarity among colleagues. I'm head of hours and finances at a national political party, non-US. I make about 60k a year, before taxes. Might take up walking dogs as a side gig. After reading this thread. Drive yard truck for Walmart. Make 10k a month or 120k a year. I watched a video about trucking where the guy said that Walmart was one of the greatest companies to work for as a trucker. Is that so? Very true. Many UTR drivers make over 6 figures and still go home every night. I don't go off property. I stay in the yard and just move trailers all day. Base pay is $30 an hour for me. But I also work 30 hours extra rot a week at $43.55. On top of that we get $500 bounds every 2 weeks. I'm unsure of benefits of OTR drivers, but they do make crazy money. On the other hand they are also held to a higher standard than most other OTR drivers out there. They run a very healthy but tight ship. Trucks are maintained great and always have new tech logistics wise. I'm not a truck driver I just move the trailers in a 2021 auto cars spotter. Data analyst. 65k annually. I was a take numbers from different spreadsheets and combine them into one spreadsheet type of data analyst. $25 slash HR full time in a not expensive USA city. After a couple weeks I wrote code to automate 80% of my work. I spend my free time learning. React front-end framework. Hopefully my next job will pay much more. Agency. Travel. Nurse $81.50 slash HR. $130 slash HR rot. How many hours per year? We generally work 36 to 48 hours per week in 13 week contracts. But really we get to decide. There are options for more hours per week. You can extend and stay at the hospital where you are already at for twice as long or you can pick up contracts that are only six to eight weeks long lots of options litigator dollar sign 225k wow how is your work-life balance how many years have you been practicing and what country do you practice in i live in california i landed a killer job where my billable hour requirement is amazing only 1500 hours a year so work slash life balance is great. I've been practicing 15 years. Street magician. It depends. Location and season are the biggest factors. I can make anywhere from $300 to $3k a week. Is that a full time job or just a side gig? When you need cash, doing that every day sounds exhausting. It was a part time at first. Once I was making more money with street magic, I quit my job and it's been full time since. One year strong where I live. It's really only worthwhile to go out on weekends. Free sun. 
I'd like to work every day, but I can't make it work here, so I'm forced to travel during seasons. Vegas is good every day right now. I've been traveling the past 6 months, and I'm just staying at home for now. Vegas is 6 hours away, so I just book a 4 day weekend. When I need money, it is exhausting, but mostly because it's Vegas otherwise I'd stay longer. Artificial intelligence slash computer vision. About dollar sign 230k. Same field, same pay. I wonder if we work for the same company. You guys are in autonomous vehicles aren't you? Chipital GM. 58k slash year. I'm a farmer. My earnings are flirting with the breadline. But I have very little bills and my life is overall very happy and fulfilling. It's not much, but it's honest work. How did you get into that field? With a tractor. I just started a new job as a software engineer with 384k total calm. To be honest I don't really know what to do with most of my money besides caring for my aging parents and saving. I feel very lucky and privileged to be here, as someone who has unexpectedly found themselves jumping salary brackets by large margins. My hash one piece of advice is to invest slash save a huge chunk of your income before you get used to it. Maximum 401k, maximum IRA, buy a house, contribute to kids college funds, if you have them, or are planning to buy index funds, buy property in non-expensive markets. Hey it's me a brother front-end web developer between my job and side business coding small business websites i do about dollar sign 120k a year hoping to double that by next year manager of a cannabis dispensary dollar sign 17 hours carpenter here 67 dollars an hour with including my benefits not lying union sparky here our packages over 60 slash hours not including benefits what did it take to learn to be a carpenter is that something you can do in a trade school? Really needs to add, and where do you live? Or it isn't very useful information. And as I'm here, product stuff, talent, your 4 kpm after tax. Senior ad analyst, a little under dollar sign 100k, not bad for a Jed recipient. 13 year old here, I take out the trash, and take out of the dishwasher at home and get paid $78 a month or $936 a year by my mom. Is she hiring? Damn I did that for free. Should have changed employers. Shoulder unionized. Pow. Nightclub director. Las Vegas. 100k base. 100k tip pool. 150k performance bonus. And the other perks. Name checks out. Aircraft cleaner. $17 slash HR plus free flights. D it's a pretty fun job I enjoy it, is the free flight, when they take off, while you're still on top with a bucket and sponge. Oil refinery guy, 150k slash union job, 401k and pension, good benefits. School psychologist for public schools, $125,000 for 180 days, full benefits and retirement, never ending professional development for licentia renewal, took me 35 years to get this salary, started at $40,000 in 1986, public educators are on a graduated pay scale, malware analyst, dollar sign 125k, project director, dollar sign 80k plus, virtual assistant $4 an hour, Massage therapist slash aesthetician dollar sign 22 hours at my job, dollar sign 100 hours working for myself. Loader in a warehouse, $21.50 per hour, loads of overtime. $26.51 slash HR rot at $46 slash HR after 76 hours fortnightly. What do I do? Milk cows and act as a farm hand doing whatever the owners of the dairy want. What's funny is besides the owner's wife, my partner and I are the only ones here THT have a professional degree and have any business experience. We'll miss the money when my visa runs out and I have to go home. Software development manager 185k. English prof, 45k and I teach 4 different classes each semester, supervise MA students, do research, and serve on a bunch of committees slash do service for the university. This is why I'm glad my wife got out of academia, the pay, okay, if, if you're able to get tenure track, the workload, absolutely abysmal.